Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Sifakas are great ballet dancers. To get between trees that are spaced far apart, they cross open ground by using a two-legged sideways hop with arms aloft. They also leap from tree to tree using their powerful hind legs. Please continue watching to find out more. Manahona means hello in Malagasy, one of the official languages of Madagascar. Giving viewers, my name is Anja and I'm a vegan Malagasy ring-tailed lemur from Isalo National Park in Madagascar. The animals and people of this wonderful country wish you peace and blessings from God. Welcome to our show entitled the endearing lemurs of Madagascar. Located in the Indian Ocean, 400 kilometers off the eastern coast of Africa, this magical place is the fourth largest island in the world after Greenland, New Guinea and Borneo. Since it has such colorful terrain and surroundings, it is known as the eighth continent. The island has a hot and subtropical climate, is wet along the east coast, arid in the southwest, and cooler in the mountains. The rainy season spans from November to April, and the dry season is from May to October. Isolated from other land masses for 88 million years, Madagascar is home to an abundance of unique and unusual species of wildlife. Nearly 90% of animals and plants are endemic, which means they are found nowhere else in the world. The rare and precious examples of these animals include lemurs like me, fossils, tomato frogs, and Madagascar long-eared owls. We lemurs are mammals and primates, and there are around 111 existing species of us. Mostly, we have a fox-like snout, large eyes, and a lengthy tail. Our four fingers are slender and our thumb is short, ending in a dark colored nail. Sizes vary depending on species. The largest lemurs are the Indri with a length of up to 90 cm and a maximum weight of around 9.5 kg. On the other hand, the smallest lemurs are the Madame Bert's mouse lemur. They are only about 9 cm long, excluding the tail, and weigh 30 grams. The time of the day lemurs are awake or active depends on their size. Larger lemurs are considered diurnal, which means they are awake in the daytime and rest at night. Small lemurs are nocturnal, being active at night. Males and females look pretty much the same. Lemurs have colorful appearances. The injury is black and white. The Sifaka has a round black face with silky fur. The long-fingered eye-eye resembles a big house cat. The most popular lemur is me. The ring-tailed lemur is a beloved symbol of Madagascar. My species is around 39 to 46 centimeters in length and weighs about 2 kilograms. Our tails are between 56 and 63 centimeters, characterized by 13 alternating black and white bands. Among my relatives, Sifakas are great ballet dancers.
to get between trees that are spaced far apart, they cross open ground by using a two-legged sideways hop with arms aloft. They also leap from tree to tree using their powerful hind legs. This is called vertical clinging and leaping and I am sure it looks like fun to you. The Indris are singing lemurs, one of the rare primates that sing. They mostly sing in the morning each day. After one injury begins, troop members who are aged two or above join in. Generally, they follow each other's rhythm, synchronizing their tunes. Your scientists theorize that the purpose of a song varies and include marking territory, warning family members of possible danger, and communicating with other troops. The lemur habitat range is widespread across the country. We occupy many different areas, including the deciduous and spiny forests, wetlands, and dry scrub. Ring-tailed lemurs frequently dwell in highland areas of southern Madagascar. Our preference is to stay in dry and gallery forests or those forests that stretch along river banks. Regarding our diet, we ring-tailed lemurs primarily eat the fruits and leaves of tamarind trees, as well as figs, fig thistles, bananas, grasses, and crown plants. Since food availability fluctuates between seasons in Madagascar, I'm highly adaptable to radically different climate zones and irregular precipitation. Quite often, the annual rainfall of our habitat is less than 5 cm and droughts are very common. That makes it difficult for many plants to grow. In the dry season, tamarind trees become our staple diet as it produces food all year round. Sometimes, I feed upon herbs, flowers, bark or sap. Plants are also an essential water source for us. We drink dew from leaves and chew succulents to quench our thirst. With all this talk of food, I'm feeling hungry. If you don't mind, I'm going to have a little vegan snack. We'll come right back after a constructive message. Please stay with us here on Supreme Master Television. back to our program, The Endearing Lemurs of Madagascar on Supreme Master Television. Lemurs like to socialize in small groups and move around with each other. Even though some nocturnal lemurs keep to themselves during waking hours, they are inclined to sleep with other lemurs during the day. The troops can vary from 6 to 30 members and is led by a dominant female. As an arboreal animal, we spend most of our time in forest canopies. Larger species tend to spend more time on the ground. Ring-tailed lemurs are on the forest floor about 40% of the time, which is the most of any lemur variety. When we are not eating, we enjoy grooming each other and sunbathing. <music> the 
The breeding season for ring-tailed lemurs is around mid-April and females typically give birth to one baby at a time. In good years, meaning plentiful food is available, we are more likely to conceive twins. The newborn ring-tailed lemur is entirely taken care of by their mother and drinks mama's milk. The babies start to eat solid food after two months and are fully weaned after five months. They spend their first two weeks of life holding onto the underbelly of their mother. After that, the young get on their mom's back and ride around. Our lifespan is around 16 years on average in the wild. For us, scents are extremely important communication tools. Among other uses, they are how we mark our territory, thus letting others know our presence. Males rub their tail with the powerful scent glands on their wrist several times until the tail smell is very strong. As part of their competition for females, the males will put their tails in the air to waft their scent in the direction of other competitors, and the one with the most potent odor will win. A study has also found that scents are used by males to flirt with females. We are also known as lemur kata, with kata referring to our cat-like appearance. My pairing vocalization is similar to that of a house cat. According to your scientists, we purr when we are happy and content, just like cats. We also purr during grooming when we comb through each other's fur and pick up insects. All lemurs except the eye eye have an extraordinary tooth comb structure in our bottom teeth for grooming. This instinctive behavior is not only for health but also forms strong relationships within a troop. Besides pairing, we have about 28 different calls to convey a diversity of messages. For example, we moan to maintain group cohesion during foraging in the forest, howl to stake our territory and make a chirping sound to let the group know that it is time to move. According to an article published in the journal Nature Climate Change, computer modeling shows that global warming and deforestation could wipe out our habitat by 2080. Since the 1950s, approximately 45% of the forest cover in Madagascar has already disappeared due to agricultural activities, illegal logging, charcoal production and mining. As we dwell in the canopies of large trees, their loss directly impacts our population. Around 95% of the lemur population is either categorized as critically endangered, endangered or vulnerable on the International Union for the Conservation of Nature or IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. The number of ring-tailed lemurs has plummeted more than 95% since 2000. There were about 750,000 of us at the beginning of the 21st century and now as few as 2,000 remain. The 2014 IMAX 3D documentary film Island of Lemurs, Madagascar highlighted the many dangers we face. The film was narrated by Academy Award-winning American actor Morgan Freeman. Island of Lemurs, Madagascar, exclusively in I am IMAX grateful theaters. for this production as it helps my human friends like you realize why we need your urgent help to survive. Please awaken your loving kindness not only for Malagasy lemurs but for all of Earth's inhabitants. Caring viewers, thank you for being with us for our program today. Coming up next is Expressing Ourselves Through Universal Language Part 6 of 7. 
on between master and disciples right after noteworthy news. May your heart be forever open to the wonders and generous blessings of nature. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash aw. Nos programmes offrent plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique aw. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada aw. Unsere Sendungen bieten viele Sprachen. Gehen Sie auf suprememastertv.com-schedule und suprememastertv.com-aw.